Hi there, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Normally when you run an analysis program, you want to figure out the stress distribution so that you have a better idea on how to fix your geometry. I mean, where to strengthen the walls, where to add more thickness, where to shave off some volume, and so on. But what if you can skip that step? What if the software can show you exactly where you need to reinforce your geometry, or where you don't need that much volume because the stress doesn't just get there? That is, in simple terms, an optimization exercise. Today we are looking at Altair Engineering's Inspire, an optimization software. The software has some basic tools for building geometry, both for 2D drawings and 3D modeling. In 2D, you can actually see that it retains the parametric behaviors in your geometry, so when you move points, it maintains the nearby relationships. But the aim of the software is to figure out the best shape for your design. In other words, to optimize your design. So let's have a look at that. What I have here is a fairly simple 3D part. So I'm trying to apply, first of all, a certain material to it. Now the next thing I do is to specify a draw direction. This is the step that is normally not required in stress analysis programs. You might think of draw direction specification as telling the software the direction in which your part will be built. Now this is different based on whether you imagine the part being built in injection molding, stamping, or another means. What follows next should be pretty similar to what you usually do in analysis programs. You identify surfaces where you're expecting certain forces or loads to fall on. Then you identify the fixtures in your geometry. After that, you've got the essentials of an optimization session, so you can, if you choose to, start the optimization. Like analysis, it takes a while to process an optimization. What you get then is results showing where your forces are most concentrated. So you can interpret it as the areas where you'd want to reinforce with more materials, or areas where you don't really need that much material because there isn't a whole lot of forces going that direction. Inspire software also lets you set a target in material reduction, so you can say to it, for instance, I'd like to see the best way to reduce the current design's mass by 30%, 50%, or another measure. This is an interactive display mode, so you can use the drag bar at the bottom to see in increments how different percentages of material looks on your design. In cases where you're dealing with an assembly, you can isolate and identify a specific region that you like to study, essentially by marking it as your design space. The shape that you're looking at is derived from math, so you'll have to use your design intuition and manufacturing expertise to convert that into a shape that can be manufactured or produced, and also aesthetically looks pleasing. Now at this point, you have the option, if you choose to, to export the shape into another Altair product called Evolve, which is a spline-based or a nerve-based modeling program. More about that in a previous review. Another option you have is to export the shape as an STL format, then bring it to your own preferred CAD programs to rebuild the part to your liking. So you can now see that with the increase in computing power and the sophistication of the software, in the near future, we may be able to move from asking the software how a part will break to asking it to tell us what is the best way to build it so that it won't break. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong with an inspired look at optimization.